Well, good morning guys and happy Sunday. Today we are barbecuing today. Kind of has a little bit of a twist to it though. It's snowing. All right, so what we got going on the grill today, I've got a half a brisket, a rack of ribs, some potatoes. Getting a bit of a late start to the day though. Potatoes are on because they're gonna take a while. Axel's letting me know he's hungry in the back. That's a half a brisket. What else do I got? Oh, special treat. We're gonna make some duck poppers. Wood duck poppers, I'm gonna show you how I do that. Can you smell it, can you smell it? I can smell it. I close that lid, I'm losing my heat. Like I said, it's a pretty late start to the day. Man, I got you all buggered up here. Pretty late start to the day. It's three o'clock. I've only had that meat on for probably the last 45 minutes. So in true barbecue faux pas, I've got the heat turned up to try and cook it a little quicker because we told people to come around five, six o'clock. Should be done, but I don't want everybody sitting there waiting. So yeah, it might be a little tougher than normal. Anyway, well, let's get cooking. All right, let's go see how Need to oil that door. See how we're making out. I just put the ribs on so there's no color to the ribs yet. Let's see what the color is doing on the brisket. There we go. That's not looking too bad. Again, the ribs were just put on. Half a brisket, potatoes. Like I said, can you smell it? He can. That's why he wants outside. All right, we're back inside out of the snow. These are our duck breasts. Some of the bigger ones I cut in half. And I split them up the middle. We're gonna make some duck poppers. We gotta fill it with some cream cheese and wrap it in bacon. But first, I gotta let it marinate in our secret seasoning. Not much of a secret, but it's gotta marinate. All right, time for a bit of an update. It's been a few hours. Now we're sitting right just under 300 degrees there. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Ribs. Potatoes are easy. That brisket shrunk. And yes, the meat, the brisket will always shrink a little bit, but I'm gonna give these ribs a flip and see how they're doing. Right now the bone side's down, I wanna get them back over. Some people say never flip them, some people say flip them. I personally don't think it matters. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Yeah, the brisket's looking up here. Not bad at all. Alright, so I took the brisket off the direct heat and just moved it up and I moved the actual tray, the charcoal tray down. Um, just so it just get the heat and not so much crisp up the outside any more than what it already is. I'm just going to go get the probes, put the probes in and now we're going to see where we're at. Alright, it's starting to get a little dark on us here. Sitting right around 300. I have the uh, ribs wrapped up with a little bit of Jack Daniels barbecue sauce on them. I had to run back in and get my temperature in here. So you see it, uh, hopefully you can see that. It's sitting at 189. I'm going to take that off at about 190 and wrap it up. Pretty hard to see, but these are the duck poppers. Flying, dying, and frying. All right, so there we have the potatoes, brisket, our burnt ends that nobody's gonna get, ribs, and wood duck poppers. I'm not sure who made this, but it's just gonna get in the way. So the wood duck, we shot that I think about a week ago. Uh, Tyler and I were out, I think we got about six or eight of them. That's those, well some of those. Split them down the middle, fill them with cream cheese, wrap them in bacon. Mm. They're gonna be good. Anyway, time to get eaten. Yeah, 
I get it for you? 